Remote learning transformed how schools handle sex education, but experts say the Internet should not be the source of that education for kids. Usher Qureshi spoke with a nonprofit that helps students navigate the topic and explains how the health crisis has complicated the issue. Do you ask them questions? When it comes to sex education, like most parents, Laura Burns doesn't want her fifth grader clicking around on the Internet. Unfortunately, when it comes to sex ed and things that they might be really curious about, there's way more misinformation than good and true information, in my opinion. 11-year-old Katie is now at an age when children start to become curious. If I feel uncomfortable, I might think about it, but I mostly still go to my mom. I also realize that she's getting to the point where it may become uncomfortable to ask me something. According to one study conducted at the outset of the COVID outbreak, half of 11 to 13 year olds reported having seen pornography in some way. Nearly two thirds of them said they had done so to learn about sex generally. The average age of first exposure to some sort of online pornography is nine. Katie Gallagher heads up Candor Health Education. Originally a health museum, for more than a half century, the nonprofit has taught health, sex education, and drug prevention to students from fourth to eighth grade. She says with social isolation and increased time spent online, the pandemic has only compounded the issue. Kids are going to see this. Now we have to make sure that we, they know what to do when they do and they have the right places to go and the right information. Over the last few years, Candor's own outreach program has had to shift, accelerated by remote schooling. We saw that. It was not going to be a possibility this year, and we spent uh, all of last summer really reworking our programs so that we could offer various virtual delivery models. Katie recently went through the new learning system with mom Laura at her side. I thought it was going to make it a bit uncomfortable and impersonal, and I actually found it to be the exact opposite. Yay! They went deeper and I understood things differently and um, more clearly. <laughs> and while experts say sexual education should not come from the Internet, the future of its delivery, they say, will likely end up being more virtual and online. That's great. I'm Usher Qureshi reporting.